Oh yeah. James Cobb, the guy on the bike, but I'm not on the bike today because I'm in LA and I'm here at Chinatown at the Sam Lee Gallery. I think it's 990 Hill Street and uh, we're going to take a little walk through to see the latest exhibition by Josh Astor. Well, <laughs> we're imposing on Sam Lee. You're the director here. Yes. And uh, we're going to ask you to give us maybe a little quick tour of uh, some of uh, Josh's paintings. Okay. We'll start over here. This one is titled Spin Cycle. And uh, this is oil on linen, 19 by 18 inches. Now, in the press preview, you talk about the fact that none of these are larger than 24 by 24 inches. Tell me a little bit about uh, the idea of scale out here, especially for the LA painters. Yeah, um, you know, I followed Josh's work for the last five years. You know, I, I first met him when he was in grad school at UCLA. And he made, I think, in earlier works, I mean, he made really large paintings. He yes. still does. Yep. And so through his blog, I've been following his uh, art practice. Do we know and the title of his blog? I don't know, <laughs> actually. Bad. But okay. I can... I can <laughs> I can get that. I'll um, put in a title in there with it on okay. it. And so I recently went to his blog and saw these, you know, really small paintings. This series of small paintings, yes. yeah. And I was really drawn to them because I, I think they're they're quite, uh, gem, you know, they're real gems to me. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm so used to seeing his large works, but I really wanted to bring a different perspective to his art practice by focusing on his small paintings. This is titled Emotional Jellyfish, yeah. Oil on Canvas 20 by 20. Now, do you feel that there are other uh, painters out here that are also kind of working on small scale? I know that uh, Andrew Mas Masulo is uh, fairly popular around here, and he works on a small scale. Yeah, I mean, he, as you know, yeah, he's based in the Bay Area. And right. He was in the Guggenheim. Shows with Daniel Weinberg, Daniel a Weinberg. wonderful dealer. Right, he got, a, he got the Guggenheim last year, and he was at the Whitney Biennial, yeah. This is um, titled Woven Script. This is actually Josh's most recent painting, uh, so he just actually made that probably completed it maybe a few weeks ago, just two or three weeks ago. Um, yeah, I think, I, I just like how he's sort of reworking the tradition of abstraction, you know. Um, the shapes that you see in the paintings, um, they come from objects that are in his studio. And so he sort of, um, as, you know, as a profession, he also, he makes, uh, um, he stretches, you know, canvases. Yes, makes, I know. And so, you know, he works a lot in wood, and so through that process, he collects a lot of these sort of weird shapes that he um, gets from cutting wood. And so he has like a, a he has a mass, you know, a collection. A whole lot of templates that yeah. he uses. I think this piece is called Bone Template. No, this one is actually called Little Conversations. Oh, this is Little Conversations. Yes. You know, the other thing I like about the work is that he uses a very kind of uh, subtle, subtle palette. Uh, a lot of these colors are kind of tertiary and are grayed down a little bit, right. but he gets a hell of a lot of mileage out of these. Well, you, you probably know, you're familiar with his uh, practice. Um, you know, he used uh, watercolor, you know, in his earlier works. And so I think, I kind of see how these paintings, he's sort of treating the oil like watercolor because they're laid down really light, very thin. Okay, then is this blanket? No, blanket is behind. Next you. one. This one is bone template. This is bone template. Yeah. I like the way that he's divided that between the yeah. uh, gray and the yellow. Now we saw work like this when we were out to visit his studio last year. Not love this, this one. Is this is really 
This one's made on denim, actually. I noticed that. I was wondering whether he had yeah. uh, just stained the canvas, but this is on denim. Right. That's nice. It's simple. It's also kind of complex at the same time. I love that. Is this Mr. Owl? No, no. Uh, this one is blanket. This is blanket. Yeah. Okay. It's actually one of my favorites in the show because I love how he's treating, you know, treating the canvas, breaking it down into different compartments. Yeah, I think that's one of the great things that he's got a whole uh, dictionary of various ways of uh, breaking things down compositionally yeah. and different forms and shapes that he uses. So that's uh, that's nice. Most of these pieces are fairly decorative too. I think that, that uh, that's kind of nice. I, uh, well, I know that a lot of California artists have been um, accused of being decorative, but I've, I've never really held that against anybody. I kind of right. like uh, beautiful painting. So we're going to wrap up on this one. Okay. And what is this? Is this? This is Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl. Yeah, it's actually Josh's favorite. Beautiful piece. Well. Give us one quick idea of what is happening in the LA painting scene, Sam. <laughs> that's, in, such a, that's such a loaded question. In one sentence or less. <laughs> that's a loaded question. I don't know. You'll have to go out and see, you know. I mean, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, okay. Sam Lee. Here at the Sam Lee Gallery. What's the address again? 990 North Hill Street, number 190 in Chinatown. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Kate. <laughs> It's James Gone, please. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Thanks, Keith. It's not quite so odd, but it's my, it's like so, it's whatnot. Okay. <laughs>